Hey everybody, I've just finished five new clocks which are available on my Etsy store now and I'm going to show you those. Um, I'm trying something slightly different with the look um, and possibly something that I'm going to do more of in the future and I'll ask your opinion about that when we get to the last clock. But I'll very quickly run you through the ones that are currently available. Okay, I'm going to show you an image as well, but here's clock 41. Now the lighting in here isn't brilliant, but as you can see, standard sprocket, brushed, uh, hand brushed and lacquered aluminium face, painted hands which are this blue green colour that I've kind of made up between two other colours. Because I've sold a couple, we can jump to a clock 44. As you can see, same sort of deal, poly uh, cleaned and polished uh, disc, which is rusty when I had it to start with. Um, and I put a brushed aluminium lacquered face in it and the uh, painted blue hands. And they are just blue. They're nice blue. Yeah, I think that looks really cool in its sort of simple, clean way. Then we have number 45, and this is where you're going to start to see what I'm talking about. Um, Painting the faces, I actually think injecting a bit of colour like that is really nice and really adds to the look. Uh, this disc, say so it's all been cleaned up, it's got a nice colour to it because the way that I've done it. This has just got metal hands and then that blue painted and lacquered front. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. Again, that's available on the Etsy store now. Now this clock does highlight an issue, a sort of a question I was asked recently and I want to address that and someone said why is it that this one clock says like £5 UK postage and another one will say like £10-£15 UK postage, it's like what, what's, what's the reason for it? When they're so close in weight and the reason for it is the threshold or the limit as it were for Royal Mail. The most I can send through Royal Mail is 2 kilos. Now when it comes to things like sprocket clocks, like the first one I showed you, they weigh about 1 kilo so you know it's quite easy to pack that up and keep the whole package under 2 kilos. This, um, the disc brakes, if they're smaller, again, that's possible. If they weigh more than about 1,600 grams, so 1 1.6 kilos, uh, I know I'm not going to get, with an adequate box and packing, I'm not going to get that under 2 kilos. Um, so when they're like 16, 15, 1,600 grams, it's more likely going to end up being the more expensive price. This one is a perfect example. This is on its own over 2 kilos. It's like 2.2 kilos because it's such a big disc. So hopefully that answers the question as to why is the postage a bit erratic. It's not erratic, it's completely down to the fact that, well if Royal Mail would make their limit 2.5 kilos, I'd never have that issue. But unfortunately I'm living in this, this area in the middle where sometimes they're over and sometimes they're under and I do my best to keep the packing as, as um, light as possible, but if it's not protected there's no point doing it. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so number 46. It's a nice one. Now this is starting to get into the the newer style. Like the, the discs, I've been rather than leaving them um, with the paint on that's chipped and stuff. It's like just really clean them up, and as you can see, it gives this great effect. Really nice colouring on them. Uh, this one, it looks a bit blue in the um, in the viewfinder, but it is definitely that blue green colour. Slightly different blue green. So I'm using different paints now. Uh, and someone did say to me you know, oh you really do love that blue green colour. The reason I use a colour a lot is one, I love this colour, yes I do love this colour, it looks great. But two cans of spray paint is about 15 quid, this is two different colours, if I only made one clock out of those two cans, you know, like a fifth of the price is just gone. But yeah, that's available on the Etsy store too. Number 47, same sort of style, uh, brushed aluminium, back plates, been lacquered, hand painted hands, all cleaned up, looking great as you can see. This one as you can see has got the original paint on the back. I've left that on there because you can see what it looked like before. Um, because discs very often come in pairs but I like to make unique clocks, same disc, different design. Uh, and I like the fact that the colour shows through these holes because of the way that I've done the plate. But yeah, this one you can see I've cleaned up entirely. Yeah, that's also available on the store. Okay, and the last clock, and this is the one that I really want to talk to you guys about, and it's very different from what I've done before, is this. That's terrible angle for the lighting. <laughs> As you can see, the whole sprocket itself has been painted with this 
colour that's, as I say, is a combination of two colours, and I just absolutely love it. In person, it looks like a teal green. It's got some pearlescence, some sort of iridescence to it, because it's a layering of two different colours. Uh, and one of the colours is actually UV reactive. I wonder if this will actually show up if I turn the lights off. Hold on. Okay, I've got a UV light. Can you see? Maybe I need to do this closer. Focus. Yeah, can you see how some of the paint reacts under UV? So the whole thing kind of has a nice dull glow. So if you've got UV lighting somewhere or you want to put a UV light on this, see it shines up nicely. Anyway, that's just because of one of the paints, the green paint that I've used with it. I gave a little sneaky peek on this on my social media. Lots of people absolutely love the idea of sort of reversing it, whereas instead of painting the middle, you paint the actual thing. Um, and I'm basically, I reckon I'll do more, because I think this looks awesome. But I was just wondering, what sort of colours would you like to see? Or would you like to see some sort of design, or something like that, sort of sprayed over it? Um, ideas of what you'd like to see sprayed on something like this. I haven't considered doing a brake disc. I might try it. I think it just really adds to some clocks. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to keep making this style, or the style with just the brushed aluminium, because I absolutely love them. But having a few different choices for different people, I think this is a good one. On the outside, you get varying different amounts of colour in different ways. This camera's really not picking out great, but it, to me, it looks awesome. Uh, I've left the back plane, as you can see. What do you think to this new sort of design, this new line of clocks, um, to go alongside the other things? And as I say, what sort of colours would you like to see? Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think on that. This video you're watching now is actually up to date, or it was filmed yesterday. Probably yesterday, to be honest, uh, for you. Today for me. Um, I've, I'm currently working on about five other videos. Chase's clock videos, they're coming soon. So there's lots of bike content coming, uh, some helpful things bits and pieces and then obviously the video for Chase's Clocks which is a is a is a half hour special basically uh, but I think it's good so never fear lots of bike stuff is on its way uh, keychains and stuff all available in the description as are the clocks and everything else that I sell in my store if you feel like supporting this channel in some way I really do appreciate it thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.